welcome back ladies and gentlemen in this video we will be messing around with these tabs okay so in the previous video we overviewed this whole section and we also changed some settings here in the general tab now we will move on to the products tab okay so we have our general settings in the products tab we have our weight we can set it to kg gram or whatever just let it be the default dimensions unit to be centimeter then we have our product ratings enable ratings on reviews okay ratings are requ required to leave a review show verified owner label for customer reviews okay and then let it be default don't mess around with it then we have our display so our shop page will be shop okay you can check out like if I will visit this and slash shop then you can see no products were found and here all the list of the products will appear about different products different different products we have added okay so then in the shop page display it will show the products default category display show products So now you can check which products to show above and then how you want them. Then, then sort by price and you can even do some sorting. I don't want you to mess around until you have a lot of products. Okay. So then you have enable Ajax uh, to cart button. This is referring to this one. When I will click add to cart, I won't be redirected to the cart. The page will not load okay and it will come directly to the here so this is very 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 awesome function i don't want you guys to check this just let it be checked and don't mess around then we have our catalog images make sure that these three are checked so that your website should not load very slow okay so if these are checked then your website will not load very slow okay then I will click save changes then we have our inventory this is exactly like stock management if you are going below the stock then it will message your email address that you are out of stock so please make sure that you have some stock okay so you can go and mess around with it just I would recommend you guys to let it be default then we have force downloads if we have a product which enables the download function like if we are giving a paid plugin if you are if you have created a plugin or if we have created a software and we are giving it for something like twenty dollars then when someone will buy it will download that plugin so they, they are referring to that okay so so thanks a lot guys for watching this one with this products overview in the next video we will be working up with the other tabs which, which will be our tags so stay tuned and goodbye